So, Doors Paradox. I mean, it was a fun game, don't get me wrong. It was a fun game. It looks great. It's very relaxing. It's a bit easy. That's the thing. It's a bit easy. It's not like really going to push you. And once you get into the groove of things, it's not going to be anything that's that challenging. Having said that, I did enjoy myself. I would try it maybe. I, it's, 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 a, it's a quick game. It's something you could play on the bus or the train or something just to keep you busy. But it's not. there's not too much to it. The story wasn't that interesting, to be honest with you. But I don't think that's the main draw of this game anyway. But yeah, I liked it. I liked it. It's, it's a very chill game. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope you enjoy the next half an hour or so of gameplay. Sorry I didn't play the full hour, but I just don't think you'd get any more value out of this video if I did. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care, guys. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a Nomad in Game Land. And today we're playing another free game that was on Epic Games. It's called Doors Paradox. Don't know what to expect. Let me just quickly check my settings. Yeah, all good. I don't care. Let's go and play. First steps. Okay, so we're 22 levels. What are we doing? What are we doing? Something about doors. Okay, click on the flower to zoom in. What a beautiful game. What a beautiful game already. Rotate the pot. Okay, thank you. Take the object. Hook. Right. Okay. Take the doorknob. Got it. All right, so we need to collect five items. Oh, there's just random things that we can pick up. That thing. Gem. Right, so not something that we needed to collect. Looks like there's some sort of pot at the top. Pull the rope. Okay. Uh, there's a key. Interesting. So normally when you have objects in games, they're really obvious that you have to click because they kind of like stand out. But this one is slightly more difficult, you know? Right. Clover and... Dear me, you've been in a bad accident. Please follow me. Bye. Finding really cryptic messages. Right, what else can we find? What else can we find? Can we go up? Can we go down? And so this thing can go... Drag an object to use it. Oh, right, okay, fine. Right, and then turn the key. Thank you very much. And... Oh! Right, there we go. That's another clip. Seems. Hook. Another gem. And what is this? All right. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Clo that's not a clove. That's not a clover shape, man. Anyway. Oh, maybe it is. Right, okay. So we've got two hooks here. And does that go in there? Let me turn that around. I think we have to collect five objects. And it opens a stargate with a cat in it. Hello. Oh, wow. What a beautiful game. Confusing, but beautiful nonetheless. Right, so... Jolly good. Right, fairy tale. So we just need... It's just basically... What are they called? Like these little puzzle boxes? And you have to try and figure out how to open the puzzle box. It seems like that. What a stunning game. Right, we got a crowbar. Take that. We've got a book. And a scroll. I am a messenger of chaos and I have and I mean no harm to you. Alright. Quantum cat. Right, what else we got? We've got that thing there. What does this do? So we can pull that. And that will open. Okay, cool. And we got another pot. Can we knock this over? Nice. Right, let's open this door. And a gem. Jolly good. Right, what, what does that pot smash into? 
Normally, last time there was a key, but I can't see anything. I don't know where that pot went. Right, so we got some sort of turny thing in there. But it seems like there's some sort of key requi required. Right, so we'll leave that for now. Anything in the chest? Okay, a camera, it looks like. Okay. There's a crowbar. No, can't brute force this one. Brute force this one. Right, okay, fine. Whilst it's there, what is there available? This anything on the top? What's in that? Oh, we need a key to open that, of course. Um, I actually want you to look at the top of the... Oh, right, okay, let's just open this one here. Oops, okay, so zoom in, please. Let's move the, remove the latch. And we've got, let's see. Hey, come back. We've got a neck... Oh, right, open the door. A medallion. All right, so I know that went into... I think it was this one here. Can we zoom in and any more? Right, so if we put the medallion in there. Alright, there you go. The medallion in there. And now if we turn this, will that open the lock? Oh, it does it for me, thank you. Right, okay, so now we've got a ring. Can we open this latch? Could we have done that the entire time? And that thing. Okay, so does that go into this thing here? So if I put this in there, maybe? And then put this in there. Uh, it seems like we need two more. Right, so where are these other two? Right, I have no idea. No, no idea at all. What do we need a crowbar for? What requires a crowbar? Oh. Gems. Right, okay. Anything else you know that's worth collecting? I didn't realize I was going to be there. Nope. Fine. And this chair? Anything else? So, what's in the book, man? Don't know. Needs a crowbar? Nope. Okay, fine. Uh, what else is available? I don't know. Yeah, maybe? Crowbar? Oh, we got some boxes. Maybe we can pry something open here. So, if I got like that. There you go. That's the third ring. How many rings do we need? So we've got a third ring now. Oh, that's it. Okay, fine. And then, oh, we just need to, I guess, line them up. Right. Oh, so two on the side there. Okay, fine. That's going to be easy enough. And then that should open something. No? Why not? It looks like it should open. Is this something I need to slide? No? Is there some sort of help here? Because I thought that would open, right? Because I've lined them all up. Oh, right, maybe because it needs to be like here. That makes more sense. There you go. Thank you very much. I guess that's the key. Thank you. Right, this is fun. It's fun. It's a bit... Uh, easy, but it is fun. Right. Thank you for opening the lock for me. Alright, let's go. Alright, mysterious quantum cat. Come on. Where are we going? Level 2 complete. Where was up this thing? Chapter 2... Chapter 3. I and mean, we can just start, you know? We can just start those levels, it seems. But let's finish Chapter 1. Ancient Ruins. Come on. Yeah, what a, what a beautiful game. Right, let's get a hammer. Let's turn this thing. I guess we might need a hook on it. Right. This is annoying, so I have to go all the way around. It only goes that far. Right, nothing on there. There is a scroll. Where's uh, our message for a cat? You were once little and carefree, full of unlimited potential. Mate! Yeah, we can. Can we break the other one as well? Wow. Yeah, it's really intuitive, you know? Hook. Give me the gem. Give me the gem. 
Can we take the bucket? Yeah. So if we put the hook on there, put the hook on there, and we put the bucket on the hook, and if we lower this down, we should be able to get some water, I believe. Oh, I have to pull up as well. Right, and why do we need a bucket full of water? I, mean, I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out. And so what else do we have available to us? Well, so we need to put some water on here. Right, and what does this do? Uh, red, red, green, blue, fine. And so, what's here on the side? We've got another gem. Thank you. We've got a vase. And we can get another vase here. Right, okay. So we put that vase back there. Did we find the vase here? Right. Okay. So we've got some symbols on the side here. And is this just a matter of getting the right levels? So if I set that there and put the water in there. And if I drag this down. Is that right? And then we've got this side and they need this end with a line through it. So if you go here, some water in there. And then we move that down one. Right, what does that do? Does something! Right, and that gives us, a, I believe, a cylinder. And Cthulhu, can you give me anything? No, fine. Right, so we've got a cylinder here. Oh, does that go there? No? Oh, it looks like a place it would go. <laughs> anyway, right, so where do you put the cylinder? I'll put the cylinder into the door. Right, come on, thank you. Go zoom in. Right. No? Yes. Right, okay, so let's see it. So we need uh, red on the right, green on the top, and blue on the, on the left. No one. Blue on the left. Okay, so we can move those ones, and we can move these ones individually. Alright, so we need to get blue on the side here. So we move blue like that. Alright, so we need to move this... So does this one not spin? They spin. Alright, okay, fine. So green on the top. What else is green? So we've got purple... Yellow, red, and blue here. And then we've got... Those two here. So this one spins and these flick. Right. Okay. Okay. I don't really know what we're meant to achieve here. So maybe. What? I did that. Uh, I was. I don't know what I did. It was completely by accident. It was completely by accident. Can I just go through? What was the puzzle? What was I supposed to do there? I don't know. Well, that's annoying. Anyway, seems fairly straightforward if you do it by accident. Jolly good. Right, summer sunset. Come on. Right, I don't know what... This is, seems like a fairly simple game. I think you could probably get it online. Mobile or something. Right, so we got a key here. Oh, a lock. Sorry. And I don't really know what to do here. So, what else do we have? We have a scroll. Your problems came with the sunset of your childhood. What on earth are you trying to mean there? Right. All right, bear with me a second. Right, what are we doing? So, we got... A green pot. All oh, right, so that goes in there, and uh, we got some wood. Right. Okay. Fine. Do we have an axe? We got some matches and a gem. 
Right, totally good. Right, what's we have? This looks like it could be opened. That is... Oh, okay. So we've got a door here. That can be opened. We can burn some wood. We have got an axe. Do we need to chop a gem here as well? Thank you. Do we need to chop the wood? So let's say put the wood there. Use the axe. There you go, we've got some firewood now. And uh, we can no longer use the axe. So let's put the wood in here. Let's set the fire. Right, jolly good. This turns the turbine. Which opens the I don't know. Open something. What else do we have here? We've got another red part here, so let's, let's zoom out of here. Can we pick up that plate? No. Right, so that's done something. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there's some stuff here. Okay, fine. Uh, red, green, uh, I don't know. I can't interact with it. So let's look at this lock. Green part goes here. The red part goes here. And what does this do? So we've got these dials. Right, and so, just how does that correspond to this? Red, blue, green, red. And we've got the same thing here, actually. What does this mean? And what's the point of this? I don't know. Right, is this a combination of some sort? I guess red, green, blue. And then red, something. No. What does this mean? Should we have another look around? Let's see if there's anything else we're missing. I don't really see anything. I don't know what these are meant to be. Can we move any of them around? No. Oh, we could do this. And um, we can't. Oh, we can move them around. Here I am being a silly Billy. Right, okay, so let's put the red one in. And if we deposit the red one there, we can now get the red one in. Right? Put the blue one here, put the blue one up here. Put the. Let's put the red one in here for a second. Put the green one in here, put the green one up there, and now we should have all three lined up, right? One, two, three. Okay, it's all oh, right, there you go. You just have to solve these puzzles and it tells you what to do. Right, so same thing again. We actually need to get the blue one as high as possible. So that, what that means is we need to remove both of these, I think, and put them there. No, let's keep the red one here for now. If we put the blue one in here, get that up here. And then if we put the blue one in here, we can now get it up there. Easy as pie. Uh, we actually just need to get the red one down here. And if we put the green one here, we can get it up here. And so we're actually done. Yeah. Right. Two. Um, fine. So middle and second to middle. Let's just do that one first. So we got middle. Oh, wait. It's not middle. Two from the bottom and then two from the top. Two from the bottom and then two from the top. Yep. And then we've got one, two, two from the bottom and then, no, three from the bottom and then two from the top. So three from the bottom and then two from the top like that. There you go. Easy as. All right, cat. What is going on here? Level complete! Right. So they're all very similar themes. Let's do... Let's have a look actually. Let's have a look at this other chapter. Because we can play the second chapter. I don't know if it's going to mess up the story or whether the cat's still involved. The passage. 
Right, so what do we have? We've got a little teapot with a gem in it. Nice. We've got a thing that opens, a book with a winding key. We've got a scroll. Having more does not stop you from wanting more and more. It's true. It's very true. Right, we've got a key. Right, and so what dropped? So we got the Mona Lisa here, and we're going to absolutely defile it. <laughs> right, okay. Hopefully that was a replica. And nothing else. Yeah, let's go. Well, what was that? Is that a hook? Can you pick that up? No. Right, so we've got a key. We've got some sort of winding mechanism. We've got a cog. We've got a gem. Nice. What else do we have here? Anything else before we deal with this? This thing cannot be moved. Right, let's just deal with this thing. So we've got that. Yeah, and that turns this. That allows us to pull that. Very cool, very s steampunky. Right, now we can put the key in there. Turn the key. Open the door. <laughs> Why'd you make me do everything? Right, and then put the winding mechanism in there, I guess. No, yes. Oh, the door just comes out. Right, okay. How bizarre. So what is there left to do here? Where does the doll go? Let's have a look at the door for a second. So we can lift the latch. And that opens up a doll. Shaped hole. And now we can tighten it. And do we need to move the arms? Right, there you go. That is a really, really weird door. I mean, who designs these things? That was actually fairly straightforward, you know? Right, jolly good. That was quite straightforward. Do you know what? Let's go back to chapter one. Because these actually look a bit more challenging. Right, so... What are we on? Level five, gears and engines. Right, so another... Steampunk kind of thing. So we got a cog here. And we got another note. But as you grew older, things started changing. Sure, you know I've not been keeping up with your messaging, man. This cat is starting to annoy me. Right, so we've got a bunch of numbers. And we can move the... Di oh, they only go one way. But we don't know the code, so let's leave it as is. And we got some colourful beads here. Okay. Purple... Oh, and they move that way. All right, so maybe we should just move these around so we can get them in where we need to go. So the yellow one just needs to go around. That's right, so yellow's there. Green needs to go that way. So if we go like that, 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 that. Okay. Blue goes there. Pink goes there. Right, and we're getting there. Uh, purple goes... Something like that. That was quick. Right, so what's in there? A gem! You told me I did all that for a gem! No, I didn't. Okay, I got a light bulb. Jolly good. Right, what's going on in this door? So there seems to be something that we need a key to open on both sides. Right, okay, fine. So, if we zoom out, there's something here. A gem. Right, I got the light bulb. Give me the gem. And um, we got some notes. Fine, okay. And um, we got something that's busted here. Can we remove this? That helps. Okay, and what is that? A belt. Okay. And... Right, so I think we need to fix this machine. Can we put anything on this thing? Something like that. What does that do? Anyway, let's uh, leave that for now. Let's go to this sort of contraption. Light bulb in, light bulb in. And if we assemble the band... Oh, there you go. Right, I'm not entirely sure that's how electricity works, but... Two, three, six, four... Oh, and it's there as well. So if we go to... Was it six, three, four? Two, three, six, four. There you go. Thank you very much. What's in there? Two keys. And is that it? 
Right, so that should go in here. So if you put one, uh, the triangle one in there. And does, what is that? Oh, so you have to do both. Square one in here. Oh, I just need to turn it. Let's turn that one as well. There you go. And that allows me to move, remove both locks. Okay, that was simple enough. All right, we should be able to open this door now. That was really easy. That was really easy. I think I'm getting the hang of it. You just need to click around. Uh, there doesn't seem to be too much to it. I wonder if it ever gets any more complicated. Camera Obscura. Okay. Come on. Right, so we got some water here. Let's see, we got some gear. Gem. Thank you. Any gears? No, we can get the lantern. No, the bucket of water we can get. And so we need to move these up and down. And I guess learn what these switches are with this gear stick. We'll leave that for now. I don't know what the code is. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, okay, fine. Let's just say it's locked. Right, what's over here? We've got some... Pipe? So if we put the water in here... What does that do? Oh, there was something <laughs> stuck in the pipe. Right, there you go. Right, thank you. Star. Okay. And so there is a star on the top here. Do I have to put it there? Seems like it. And that. How does that power with that door? I don't know. Okay. And so, if we have a look at this. There's four lines in different positions. But what does that relate to? Right, so we got a gear here. Oops. Right, so, there just happened to be a spare. And now... We can return... Oh, there you go, it's gem. And we, it seems like we got some film here. So put the camera in there and then open this up. Okay, interesting. So do we just need to line them up? So if we do that... Oh, I see. This is not as easy as I thought. So if we put that one in here... And then we put that one in there. Oh, actually, it is fairly straightforward, isn't it? So if we put that one in here, and then put that one in there. And then if we pick up that one and put it across there. And that should allow us to finish if we put this one down here. Yep. Now open that thing. And what does this show us? Hopefully some sort of code. A, B, C, D. That's not helpful. Return it. No? Yeah, we can. <laughs> right, okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How are you... How does this work? Right, and so... We're not going to have to remember that, are we? What does this thing say? Oh, it's the last one. So, a star... And, oh, let's just do one at a time. So, put it to A. It's a star. Yeah? Is that right? Uh, I don't know, actually. It's like a different type of star. That's it, right. And then B is the second one, which is some stripe lines down. Come on. There you go. And then we put C, which is going to be the third one. Which is a dot in a circle. There you go. And then D is the first one, which is two triangles inside the circle. There you go. I should open the door now. Right. Fairly, fairly straightforward. I think you guys get in the picture of this. It's, um, it doesn't seem to be getting more complicated. It's very cool, but it's just the same stuff over and over again. Let's do one more. Let's do one last one, shall we? Negative charge. Hopefully it's a good one. Come on. Why is, this, why is the loading so long? Right. Okay. Let's see what we've got available to us. We've got some numbers. We've got gem. 
Come on, give me the gem. Gem collected, it got scroll. You turned into a shadow of your former self, blind to the beauty in the world. Okay, thanks, cat. A uh, sprocket. Right, and then we got this weird circular thing here. Um, I guess maybe the sprocket goes in here? No, but we do have another sprocket. No, fine, let's leave here. And we do have a, another gem. And a third sprocket. So, can we turn this? Right, so that's done something. And the bucket, the bucket. There is a valve in here. So we've got two valves. I think we can only really put it in this one. Right, and then if we turn this around. That has done something. It's given us an accordion. No, a bolt. Right, okay. And so if we go back to this one. Something needs to go in there. Could we the bolt, put the bolt in there? Yeah, that's a one hench bolt. Oh, you're making me turn it, really. Come yeah, on. And now that will do what? Okay, very cool. Right, so we need to connect C to 1. Oh, come on, man. C to 1, A to 2, and B to 3. So C, A, B, 1, 2, 3. C, A, B. Easy as one, two, three. All right, so that's obviously this one. C, A, B. And so. And these are obviously these ones. So. C, A, B. So this one needs to go to C. And you can either go left or right. Okay. I think I'll send it this way. Mm, and then if he wants to go like that. Okay, so C can either go down this way or that, that way. So that one actually does connect to... No, it doesn't. It doesn't connect to one. One can either go down... Alright, so C now connects to 1. Right, and then A is 2. So now that connects to A, and so B should hopefully be as simple as that. That was fun! That was fun. It was a bit easy, actually, but it was fun nonetheless. Alright. And now we've got some... Rockets in here. Yeah, on. Right, one. No? Really? Where do they go? Oh, right, I have to open the, the door. That makes sense. One, two, and three. Fine, and so we can turn these, but we need something to connect them, right? We need some smaller gears. So what do we have to at our disposal? Hmm. And we can't remove them now. So we need something that's going to help us to touch these. Unless there's something I'm missing. Is there something I'm missing? I don't know. There's these things on the floor. No, I can't touch those. And I can't... Can I turn these off? No, I can't do anything with them. And there's nothing in the wall, right? What am I missing here? What am I... Oh, there's these things on the door, right? So this one needs to go down. This one needs to go to the right. And this one needs to go to the left. So if we could just do the left and right first. Like that. Maybe a little bit more down. I mean, that's right. Oh, okay, fine. Jolly, jolly good. Right, Mr. Cat, what's going on? I like how I was doing it inside the inside of the door as well. Oh, 
Oh, that was fun. Right, let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. Let's go to the main menu and hear what I think about the game. So, Doors Paradox. I mean, it was a fun game. Don't get me wrong. It was a fun game. It looks great. 